the one. Walk back to the channel. Out oh, here. Squirrel high. 2023. Our brother just dropped me off. Currently making my way up this ridge. I'm actually doing more of a camera run than I am squirrel hunting. Left it. So cameras on this ridge over the summer. I might retrieve some, might leave some, depending on footage. This ridge is a mile long in a Z shape, so might take me a while. In the meantime, if I do come across some squirrels, I will take them. Alright, I'm gonna try to get at least two today. Maybe three. Uh, still making my way up this ridge. Pretty soon I'll be silent. Just like a few minutes after seeing a spike and a, a squirrel barked at me. I was waiting where that squirrel was. <laughs> Heard a loud gunshot in my brother's direction. He's also squirrel hunting and he has his six five cream mark he sees a bear. He not the only two up here, so not quite sure what's going on. I'm assuming he shot a bear. I'm gonna wait, see I get a response from him, I'll just text him. If he did got better, I'll just make my way back. And uh, try to meet up with him. Unless I just do my camera check real quick until I get a response and then I'll make my way back. But other than that, I'll just keep on hunting until I get a response. Just got a text from Jason. Was him that shot? He shot a bear, a big one. But he said it ran off like he didn't got hit, so uh, he'll probably give it what, 30 minutes to an hour before he'll go search. But I might finish my run and then I'll probably head back trying to find him. And then he and I could research the area. Hopefully, yeah. This area, this is our, our third season hunting this place. This place has just got loads of bears in this area. Big bucks too, but the amount of bear that we'll catch on cameras is just ridiculous compared to our other spots. This place where it has the most bears. Number two. So this one's still alive. Capture some good stuff. Just read it like this. Right next to my camera. I mean, a bear has been digging up the roots of that tree. <laughs> Holy smokes, he dug up the alley. It was not there earlier this year when we came. Oh, yeah, like I 
I said, lots of bears in this mountain over here. Just that it's just so thick. It's hard to even hunt bears in. Alright, let's see what we got. Squirrels going off. Same direction that I just came from. Might have been the same one. Might not be actually. Some decent bugs coming through. Oh, nope. nope, just came by the camera. Oh my goodness. Oh, hold on. Wow. Big. Two nice one giant forky and a one nice up and comer. Narrow. Oh yeah. This morning the giant mega fork. Be keeping tabs on. Just pass through here. He's still alive. Goodness, he's huge. Oh, that's good news. Let's see what's on this camera. I'm actually going to remove this camera. So, it looks like still alive. I might just use these batteries and put in another one. So far, nothing interesting yet. Let's get all the way towards the end. The heck? <laughs> Turkey? Very <laughs> nice. What the heck? I did not expect that to be here. Hmm. Oh. So, medium sized bear. Doesn't surprise me that there's bears here. Check the rest later. Seems like it's not as productive as I was going to be. Those turkeys, though. I did not expect turkeys to come all the way up here. It's rich. The group of chicks. I done doing the last bit of the camera. Now it's time to head back. Find my brother. We can track his bear. I'm not even sure if I could do a squirrel hunt today. But I do see a one on the way back. I'll try my best. For now, I need to focus. Find my brother's bear. Okay. I'm not too far from my brother now. Send me the waypoint, so gonna go to where he sent me the waypoint, regroup with him, see if we can find his bear. My speed hiking through the, the ridge is exhausting. All right, got my brother with me. We are gonna research this bear, uh, trying to check if we see any blood. But so far, I'm pretty sure there's no blood. It was showering earlier too, so Maybe that might have washed all the blood away, who knows. But hopefully, there's at least some blood that we can uh, get an eyes on so we could have a direction where the bear went. So, let's get started on this tracking job. Alright, so the bear went between these small trees right here and this log right here. So, if there's, if there's any blood, it should be in this little funnel right here, but... My brother and I are having trouble finding blood. And there are these green leaves right here too. So the, if the bear was to run through, seeing blood should be easy. But there is no blood at all, man. No blood. Alright, so hopefully we found a clue. Uh, my brother found this spot inside of this hill. Seems like it tumbled down here. So we're going to follow this path. 
seems like it's following the same path that the bear ran down so hopefully it's running in a straight line and uh we can find him down there so we're just gonna go down and see well that turned out to be a negative uh, kind of disappointing cannot find that bear to me it looked like it was a good shot but there was no blood or anything there was no lead I don't know what happened. I just came over that ridge, saw that bear sitting down looking at me. I thought it was just a weird looking log. Hold up my binos. Saw that it was a bear. Wait for it to get up. Made a good shot. I thought that was it right there. Looked like it was a money shot, but apparently it didn't do the job. Also, it was showering earlier too when I was waiting for my brother, so my diet as well well not really diet but found function so hopefully the SD card didn't get corrupt so yeah that's it for the bear tracking job couldn't find it but that's how it goes sometimes when hunting just do what you can to uh, find the animal that you shot try our best but there was just no lead at all so can't do nothing about it just gotta move on, I guess. First squirrel of the day. Stop by on the road. I was checking out this area. It sounded like it looked like it was a good area, so I just stopped and waited for a while. And then this one just started barking. I stay in that spot just for a little bit longer, hoping there was gonna be a second one hopping around or close by, but there wasn't. Uh, I'm just gonna keep walking the road. See if I could bump into or hear any more squirrel along the way. If anything, I'll loop back and then just stop by these spots again. Starting to uh, drizzle a little bit. Thinking about finding a spot, just hunker down for a while. I'm trying to find a good spot that looks like it might hold some squirrel, so. We'll see if this drizzle lets up or not. So I'm just gonna keep walking until I find a good spot to sit. Found a nice four point shed. Five point actually, that's a little brown time. If you count that. Nice little buck in here, huh? Old. This is day two. Um, today I'm gonna hit the top of the ridge first this morning and then probably just gonna sit down in a good area. I may or may not head down to the lower part of this hillside in the afternoon depending on action or where I'm at. But yeah, 
got to the top of the ridge. A little bit tiring, but hopefully there's some squirrels activity up here. So my goal is just to get at least two. Got the guy. One shot, one kill. Saw this dude earlier. Pretty sure the same one. So I ran down, ran right back up another tree. Kind of figured he went to the tallest tree in their area or tallest tree that's close by. That's what these gray squirrels usually do when I'm hunting them. They see you, they drop down, they will run for a little bit and climb the tallest tree. And just hide up there. And all I did was I had to just keep glassing and glassing until I dropped down a little bit and then glassed it to a spot and saw him just sitting there. Is day two. Yesterday, Jason and me were unable to recover his bear that he shot. And then, on the way back, spotted a cow elk. And uh, pretty much spent the rest of the day yesterday packing out his elk. So, didn't do much hunting yesterday. Besides the morning, which was very unproductive. So today I'm uh, looking to make up for yesterday. Uh, Kevin also didn't get much action yesterday too. Yeah, he hunted all day. He only got one squirrel. So. Not sure. This year just starting slow. The numbers are down this year because of the winter that we had. But it's a new day. Hopefully. Today is different than yesterday.
originally planned to just go run. And I did not expect to see a bear here. He's still just up ahead of me. Jason has his 65 PRC, but he's not here with me. He's in a different spot. The bear is not like big, but if you were to mess me up, it will mess me up for sure. He's like a, a small, medium size. He didn't care about me at all. He was probably only, let's say, 30 yards away. Easy shot. He gave me, like, opportunity shots. But as far as probably trying to get on film and shoot him, it would have been difficult because he was just moving. But even so, seeing a bear that close really gets the blood pumping. If it was a bigger bear, I might have been in trouble, but he was just a, a smaller one. I was comfortable enough around it. He didn't give me any problem. He was just doing his own thing. He went up the way that I was going to go, so I'm going to give it a few minutes before I start heading that way. Or maybe I'm going to start heading off to the side of this hill, because he's, he's just walking his spine in this ridge, and that's where I want to go. So. That being said, I haven't had much uh, productivity as far as squirrel goes. It's been quiet. I haven't heard one squirrel bark out all this morning. Whew. Wow. That was cool. I just heard my first squirrel today. He's quite a bit of ways. So dry, crunchy that I don't know if I'll be able to make that stock. I'll probably just take my time to get in there. I know he's in a tree, but I don't know which tree. So hopefully, when I get there, he's still active. That one on the first time in the tree. I heard something else running on the ground, but I never saw what it was. And when he fell, I started wrestling on the ground. Again, I can't find what the wrestling was about. I'm going to pick this guy up. This big score, too. It's an old score. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Whoa. It's a big fat one too. Nice. Got score number two situated. Got it all gutted, put in bag. And move on. See how I get another one for the day. If I just end up with two for today, that's fine with me. Uh, that was my plan yesterday anyway, but yesterday was a bus and I spent most of the day helping Jason pack out his elk so today I'll uh, we'll try to make up for yesterday but I have just enough two for the day then that's fine by me one more will just be a bonus Happen kind of fast. This thing is two o'clock right now. It's been a while since my second one. I just stop here, sit, take a rest. I'll just touch my phone and I look up as a squirrel hopping in front of me. I'm like 35, 40 yards. Got a camera set up. He stopped long enough to give me a shot. I didn't even hear him coming, I just looked out he was there. That's number three. Alright, got score number three. All cleaned up in the back. Time to get back on. Move. I guess squirrels are starting to move again. Earlier it was pretty dead. So. Part's gonna find a spot again, sit, wait, listen. Seems like the food source aren't ready early this year so making it very tough it's part of hunting though got to adapt and overcome and hopefully come out successful because you can't always be successful in hunting Unfortunately, didn't encounter anything new throughout the day. Uh, Jason texted me that Kevin had not done for the day, so I'm just gonna head back to where Jason planned to pick me up. Um, looks like this is it for the video. Plan on getting two, got three. I don't need to limit out. You know, when the numbers are not there, you can only work with what you have. So. Only got three for the day. That's good. All right with me. Can't always slim me out. And I uh, really wish I had my uh, baking rifle, but at the same time, that bear uh, might have been just a tad too small for me. Uh, willing to take. So, looks like this will be it. Thank you all for watching and uh, see you all in the next one.